Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so today I wanna to focus on the basics once again, just really showing you what you need to do, the very, very beginning steps of recovery. Uh, whether it's TOS, frozen shoulder, bad posture, or rounded shoulders, this is what you must focus on, and this is really gonna help you with recovery. So, we're gonna start, jump right into it, and start with shoulder squeezes. I know I say this a lot, but this is a very, very good exercise that doesn't take a lot of effort and squeezing your shoulder blades together gets rid of the roundness in your back and it helps train your muscles to stay in that neutral position. So what you need to remember is to turn your palms face up so they're facing forward. Externally rotate your thumbs which will naturally bring your palms forward. You want to keep a straight posture, squeeze everything together, make sure that your chin is parallel to the floor and that you're standing straight up and your body is straight. So I'll turn to the side, you can see everything is aligned. I'm exaggerating the squeeze so that you can see a, that how to squeeze the shoulder blades together. And you're basically just holding this position and you can let go and do a few reps. And this just really helps keep everything in line. The next thing you wanna do, chin tucks. Once again, chin tucks are very important. And doing this, you're just bringing your chin right back. So you're not tilting your head back, you're just bringing your chin, pushing it straight from the bottom. As you can see, my back and neck is aligned, and I'm just pushing from the front, tucking my chin back, keeping a straight posture, and you really wanna focus on seeing that posture, keeping your shoulders back and tucking your chin. It's a little bit difficult, and once you do it more and more, you'll, you'll get into it, and you'll really feel that it helps with your posture and the roundness of your shoulders. Third thing we're gonna look at is diaphragmic breathing because diaphragmic breathing uses your pec minor, uses your scalene muscles, and you really find that a lot of people struggle with diaphragmic breathing. So to do this, you're gonna put one hand on your diaphragm, one hand on your chest, and you, what you really want to happen is you want your diaphragm to move, which is the bottom hand going up and down, and you don't want your top hand to move. So you don't want your chest to be moving up and down as much as your, di as your diaphragm or your bottom hand. So laying on the floor is ideal to practice this. It takes the pressure off your scalene muscles in your neck and your pec minors. And these are used for secondary respiration, taking deeper breaths. And most people use this for normal breathing and that's when their scalenes get very aggravated. So shoulder squeezes, palms up, chin tucks, diaphragmic breathing, all important and they're all going to help you with your recovery.